Hey Wildcats, welcome to this week's Wildcat Weekly Minute Update. I'm Kayla Condry. And I'm Kaylee McCarty. Here's what's happening on campus this week. This week is your last chance to see Theater Louisiana Christian's latest production, The Importance of Being Earnest. Shows are Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m. and a Saturday matinee at 2 p.m. It's a fun way for you to get a cultural credit. Get a jump on your professional resume with Resume Skills Workshop. It's happening Thursday at 11 a.m. in the Granbury Conference Center and is sponsored by the Center for Calling and Career. Ladies, there's still time for you to sign up to become the next Miss LCU. This year's pageant is set for October 24th, but the application deadline has been extended through this Friday. There are scholarships available for those who compete. Learn more about it on the LCU website. LCU Rec is sponsoring a singles ping pong tournament on September 26th at 7 p.m. in the game room. You can register on IM Leagues by noon on the 26th. A reminder that you need to attend 11 chapels and five cultural events for the semester. Your attendance will be tracked through scanning your student ID at events, so you must have your student ID with you to receive credit. And make certain that you get scanned at some point during the event. It is your responsibility to make certain that you are scanned in for attendance. If you need any help getting your assignments done this semester, be sure to visit the Student Success Center. You can schedule your personal tutoring session on Canvas. And best of all, it's a free service. There's also free online tutoring this semester for LCU students. It's available 24-7 at tutor.com. You can access the link in any campus course through the navigation bar on the left side of your screen. A reminder, if your class requires a physical textbook, you can pick one up at the bookstore at no additional cost. And if you need help with any of your digital course materials, stop by the bookstore or email. Applications for the 2025-26 Wildcat Navigator Cohort are now open and will be available through the end of September. Interviews will be held at the beginning of October. For more information, please contact Amy Dufresne at amy.dufresne at lcuniversity.edu. If you're interested in exploring the Catholic faith, join the Wildcat Catholics every Thursday at 11 a.m. in the library conference room. They'll have lunch, Bible study, and opportunities to grow in faith and fellowship. They have exciting events planned for this academic year. For more information, you can contact the club's president. LCU's BCM invites everyone to a time of worship in student-led small groups. BCM meets in Gwen Auditorium every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. We hope to see you there. If you're not feeling the best, you can always stop by the Student Wellness Center. They're located on the second floor of the Student Center next to the BCM. They have a registered nurse available Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and a campus physician visit on Wednesdays from 12.30 to 2. It's fast, free, and available to all students, residents, and commuters. Now let's send it to Seth Bynog with Wildcats Media Sports for a look at what's going on at Wildcat Athletics. What's up, Wildcats? Here's what's happening this week in LCU Sports. LCU football drops their opening game of the season at St. Thomas of Florida. Final score was 56 to 10. The Wildcats only touchdown coming on a 47-yard pass from River Thompson to Brennan May Jordan. The Wildcats are back at it Saturday when they travel to FCS opponent Houston Christian for a 6 p.m. kickoff. The men's soccer team dropped its first game of the year, a 3-0 score at Williams Baptist last Wednesday. At 2, 1, and 1, the Wildcats are idle until September 18th. LCU women's soccer played a hard-fought game at Division I Southern last Friday. The Wildcats giving up a goal in the 79th minute to fall 1-0. At 0, 2, and 1, the Wildcats have another Division I opponent this Friday when they play at McNeese State at 7 p.m. Women's volleyball split a pair of matches at the Wiley Showdown last week. The Wildcats fell to St. Mary of the Woods 3-0 before coming back to Blank Wiley 3-0. Two Wildcats earning conference recognition this week. Kate Campbell was named Red River Athletic Conference Attacker of the Week and Emma Cother named Setter of the Week. For Cother, that's the fifth weekly recognition of her career. The Wildcats head to Hobbs, New Mexico for this week's action when they face Southwest in their conference opener. Game times are 8 p.m. Friday and 1 p.m. Saturday. Finally, your LCU Student Athletes of the Week are Kate Campbell and Emma Cother from volleyball and punter slash kicker Levi Hilborn from football. For more scores and information, follow the LCU Wildcats accounts on Facebook, X, and Instagram at lcwildcats.net. That's a look at sports. I'm Seth Bynog. Back to you at the desk. Thanks, Seth. If you need anything to be announced in the Wildcat Minute, please email wildcatweekly at lcuniversity.edu two weeks before the event so we can make announcements in a timely manner. Be sure to follow us at Wildcats Media on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep up with what our Wildcats Media News team is covering during the semester. And don't forget to check out the KZLC Morning Show weekdays at 7.30 a.m. on 95.5 FM. 
For Wildcats Media News, I'm Kayla Condry. And I'm Kaylee McCarty. I'll see you later. later.